Championship and EFL's longest away trip takes place today as Plymouth welcomes Sunderland to home park. This may be an 800 mile round trip or so for those loyal Sunderland fans, but in terms of league position, the gap goes to 13 places and 10 points, with the visitors sitting in sixth ahead of this one today. So as well as geography, there's a fair old way between the two of the standings ahead of kickoff. Ben Wayne and Joe Edwards replace Adam Randall and Dan Scar as the two changes for Plymouth ahead of this one after their defeat to Leeds a fortnight ago. Two changes in the Sunderland ranks at the back is Dan Ballard and Luke O'Neill replace Jensen Sales and Triantis as both managers a handshake ahead of kickoff as before this game both sets of players and fans remember the life of Mike Bickle a local Plymouth native and former player who passed away at the age of 79 earlier this week best clearance which has gone straight to the feet of Bellingham Clark. Up with a lovely ball which can't be taken under control. There's the hit by 09. And it's forced a strong arm from Cooper to tip it over his own bar. The Sunderland captain up from the back found himself in the opposing box. He hit it down into the ground. And saved though by Cooper. That is going to be key for Plymouth if they are to survive this season in the championship. Is their home form? Edwards and to Finazaz. Kundal. There's a short to Morgan Whitaker invited to shoot and does so and has let fly an absolute beauty. Morgan Whitaker with a spectacular goal to open the score in here at home park. And there was absolutely nothing that Anthony Patterson could do to keep it out. Well, Kundal played it short to Whitaker. He came in from that side into the middle and let fly. It just moves and spins away from Patterson, who is nowhere near keeping it out. No goalkeeper in the land is keeping that out. And Plymouth, the lead. Sunderland side, they are an exciting, vibrant side to watch. Called by Patterson. Their first and sending it forward. Nice little touch by Houghton. Now Kundal into Azaz. It's a beautiful touch to get under control and will get the shot away. And that's the second for the hosts. Finn Azaz makes it 2 0. And Plymouth have breathing space against their opponents here this afternoon. And Stephen Schumacher with his hands in his pockets, no doubt inside, brimming with real positive vibes. It was a beautiful ball into Azaz, great first touch. Went on the inside of 09, got it on his right foot and was able to get it past Anthony Patterson, who was a bit more closer to it than Whitaker's effort. But he was unable to stop it. As Plymouth now lead by two goals to nil. And with the header, but straight to a red and white shirt. Here's now Joe Bellingham. To Jack Clark, the danger man for the Black Cats. Taken on two and beating two. Cuts it back to Bellingham. And it's hit the post of Cooper's goal and goes up for a goal kick. Well, Sunderland within inches of pulling the deficit back to one. Brilliant feet by Clark. Sets it up for Bellingham, who's unfortunately unable to score as he hits the post. Sunderland response going to be as they are an operation fight back trying to wrestle this game back into a positive result Clark getting it in there we'll go out of play for a corner it got a vital touch with the Plymouth defence as Adil 
Sheesh was trying to make himself a nuisance in there. They've gone short from this corner, however. In by Clark. The delivery's a good one. It's smacked off the post by Hume. And then now Sheesh hits the rebound into the side netting. It was a beautiful delivery. Try Hume gets up, smacks off the post, back into play. And Adil Oshish, the substitute, trying to put it on target. And hits the netting, albeit the side netting. To the channel by 09. Brilliant play. And Sunderland looked to try and get a chance as Roberts was trying to set it up for Lisa Mayenda. It will be a corner, roared on by those. That cat supporters, they've gone short again, trying to catch Plymouth Cold here. In by Roberts, goes all the way in there, and nine going for it. There's the shot by Alshish. Called it so sweet on the volley. Just wide of Cooper's goal. Well, he's had another attempt at goal. This one, a lot more closer than his last one. Difficult one to execute right, but he's nearly pulled off. Something brilliant there as Adil Alshish. Stands. They've gone a long way for nothing of those Sunderland fans. But in by Hume. They've been peppering the Plymouth goal in this second half, but Plymouth have got it clear. Mumba to Whitaker. Barley Mumba sprinting ahead of him and receives the pass. What a story this would be if Mumba could tuck this away, but he's off target with his effort. He's a former Sunderland player, remember, before he was sold on a few years ago to Norwich. That would have really have stunk Sunderland if he was to haunt his old side. Came into him via Whitaker, flashes past Patterson and flashes wide of the goal. Chance to make it 3-0. Not quite there from Ballymumba. Certainly Tony Mowbray has made a lot of on pitch changes, yet to have the desired effect. In by Bart, gone towards Mayenda, not the best touch. It's come to Dak, lays it short to Clark. He's denied by the right foot of Michael Cooper, who gets it clear. Anywhere will do the direction of that ball from that save. Neil, Hume, Clark once again, loves these sort of positions, goes inside, will eventually shoot. Gibson with the block. What a big block it was. As Plymouth will just look to clear with Randall, and he's done so brilliantly. Well, Michael Cooper making an excellent stop to tonight. Jack Clark did think when Clark was letting fly that he was probably going to get the better of the goalkeeper for Plymouth, but wasn't the best of efforts, but still, Cooper had to keep it out, which he did. once more it, Joe Edwards who slides in just sends him back just a few yards it's a beautiful ball now into Elisa Mayenda bit of a heavy touch looks to shoot and does and it's gone into the side netting well they cannot say the Sunderland players they've not created chances they've had a bucket load in this second half alone just unable to really find that killer instinct to get a goal back at least it's just not their day it feels like in front of goal Clark oh, a few groans from the Plymouth fans thinking there may have been a foul Clark once more going for the curler blocked my end up Plymouth struggling to get this fully clear everybody back in green it feels like clip ball in not the best header away, Ballard's header! That's a brilliant stop from Michael Cooper. Well, he's getting his money's worth today is the Plymouth shot stopper. Another save that he's had to make in this game. And it was one to deny Dan Ballard with a header that he thought was going to beat Cooper until the big hand of Cooper tipped it over his own bar. the Sunderland pressure in this second half it's going to lead to a defeat Plymouth have held on for a big important three points as they've managed to put a bit more daylight between themselves and the bottom three in the championship
Morgan Whitaker and Finnis Az with both the first half goals that sealed the deal for Plymouth Argyle, who really were under the cosh in the second half. Big cheer from Stephen Schumacher. What is the start of a real busy period for Plymouth? It's the perfect start to it as it's finished here at home park. Plymouth 2, Sunderland 0. Awful journey for those Sunderland fans to make with nothing to show for it.